Hey, Burl. Old Burl's stuck up there in a the mud hole. Let's go up there and get him. Get up from there. You crazy thing. Let's go help old Burl. Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard here. Now, I'm going to go straight to the point. This morning, or today, we're going to fish for crappie. Uh, Y'all kind of, uh, if, if you don't care, forget about my voice. It's a little bit hoarse. It's because I've been out here zooming around without a mask. I'm not sick. I'm just hoarse. But it's cold this morning. Currently, it's 29 degrees, and it's cold. Uh, there's no need to say anything else. Let's go catch them. That's a pretty, pretty sunrise right there. It is cold, folks. But now the reason is, there, it's winter time. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot of water movement out here. The reason why is because it's been raining hard for two days. Uh, I'm not going to gripe about that. The reason is, is because we're way behind on rainfall in my area. Usually, um, we would have done had plenty of rainfall. So that, what that's going to do is going to help the fishing. That is, if we can find them. But the thing about it is, when we go fishing, we're going to find them, folks. All right, folks, I'm going to start right here off the edge of a creek channel. Um, and today, my rod is a B&M Bucks Graphite Jig Pole. And it's, um, I believe it's 10 foot. Yeah, it's 10 foot long. I'm using a Cadence Reel. This is a 1,000 size series right here. Six pound test braid. High vis braid. And I'll show you my rig right here. It is nothing more than a barrel swivel. That's a size 10, real small. I have a Palomar knot here on top. Pa um, Trilene knot here on a four pound fluorocarbon leader. And uh, a Sabiki knot right here with a jig around seven inches away from the knot. One thirty second ounce jig head and a 1 32nd ounce jig head. Both of these jigs is tied with, um, uh, excuse me, it's cold folks, with a loop knot. And that's all they are to it. This is a natural minnow, is the name of it, made by Bobby Garland. The water's pretty clear. It's not real bad at all. And what I'm gonna do is just drop it to the bottom to start with because I see some fish on the bottom. Surface temperature's at 50 degrees, but I'm just gonna move this jig real slow, kinda in a circle. I'm right on the edge, so I'm going off deep, and I'm just bringing it back like this at an angle, real slow. There's fish. I finally may have found some fish right here. Not a very big one, but it's a white crappie. Come on in here. That fish thumped it. I knew I'd have a little trouble right here. This is the same place or a place that I'd found last year, folks. Uh, I believe it was later on in the year. And this is the place I started right here just to see. So I've fished this place before. That's pretty good crappie to break the ice. He's not 10 inches long, though. They have to be 10 inches long here on the Coosa River. It's a pretty fish, though. Let's let him go. Go on back. Well, we broke the ass. That's, <laughs> that makes me feel better. I started out here on the edge of that creek channel and come around, and I seen fish, but they wouldn't bite. But yet I caught one on this side. 
So, and they're shad in here, but they're scattered, my goodness. Let's let it back right here. See if we can do that again. They're scattered up bad, the shad are. Uh, they'll bust up every time when you have those type of weather conditions. And that causes the crappie to bust up a lot of times. And all I'm doing is just keeping that line at an angle. Because you're better off with a double jig rig to keep either cast or if you're going vertical jig, keep it at an angle. It keeps those jigs separated. Or I'm better off. I'm speaking for myself, folks. This is all about opinion. There we go. I tell you, that's a little bitty fish. I want y'all to look. But that's how sensitive that braid is. That, that fish, that's a little black crappie. When he hit it, it would just peck. That's a little bitty dude, ain't he? But that's a great combination right there. You talking about sensitive. Let's let it back right here. If I get lucky, I'll find them grouped up, but it, it will have to be luck, because it's deja vu. Weather conditions like this, I really pay attention to the weather. And this will happen every time when it comes to crappie. Now, if the weather are kind of stabilized a couple, two or three days, they'll group back up where you can catch them a lot easier when you find them. Okay, we're at the right depth, about a foot from the bottom. Now I'm going to throw my rod at an angle like this. And every once in a while, I'm just going to barely give them jigs some action. Just by me holding that rod out there, that them jigs has already got action. Plenty of action for crappie. There's one. That one feels like a little better fish. Yeah, that might be a keeper right there. What I'd like to do is go ahead and catch Mama Sue four or five of these. That's a white crappie. I believe we can flip him in. That's going to be a keeper right there. That's going to be a keeper. Pretty good fish. We'll measure him up and make sure. Ten inches is what we're shooting for. That fish is ten and three quarter. So I'm just going to put some water in my bucket. And we'll put him in there. I don't need many. Four or five. And to satisfy that Mama Sue, it's all about satisfying you woman. All right, let's put him in the bucket. Whoa. Quiet. Doggone it. That's how I'm going to have to catch him. I'm kind of pitching out from the boat. Now I'm going to let that hit the bottom right there then i'm gonna pick those jigs up and let it come back back at an angle real slow that's how they're biting they don't want any action very little there we go now that might be a better crappie right here no it ain't it's a fish oh it's a white crappie I'm surprised how how hard these fish, I gotta say that again, are fighting in this cold water, but they are still a beautiful fish. <clears throat> now today is one of those testing type days. The fish are there, and there's quite a few of them, but the only way, folks, this is the only way I can get them to bite today. All right, let's get on the bottom right here. This is a tough day. And when this happens here, okay, it's on the bottom. I'm gonna raise it up about a foot because that's where the fish are. They're about a foot off the bottom. And I'm just holding my rod like that. Let's see what we got. That is fighting good too. My goodness. Now he's cutting the rug. 
But I've got a hole in my jig. That's another white crappie. Let's see if we can flip him in here. I've got a hole in my jig still. Barely move it. They will not hit it if you put a lot of action into it. I can't lift it up and let it fall. In other words, uh, let's check him. He might measure. I believe he's going to be short, though, a little bit. Nope. He's hitting the line. Ten inches. I'm going to keep that for soon. They're tough today. <clears throat> but I'm going to tell you, when it comes to fishing... Oh, I wish my throat wasn't like this. But when it comes to fishing, these are the days we need to fish. You, you can really see I'm out here wanting to catch fish. So this right here will keep you, how can I say it, in tune with nature. You'll figure out how to make them bite. There we go. I'm glad I moved my rod tip back. I don't want to break this rod. This is a good rod right here. I want y'all to get one. I teased that fish right there in the bite, and I hope it's a keeper. I'm teasing every one of them. I don't know if it's a keeper or not, but you talking about fighting. Come on. I believe it is. That fish hit the top jig. I believe that's the first fish. This is probably the hardest day I've ever had to catch crappie. And I'm being fair with y'all. I'm being straight up. I got to be straight up. There's no reason for me not to be. But um, <clears throat> what the deal is, I see them on my depth finder. Okay. I know they're there. But it's hard to fish for them because they're not biting, and it takes a long time to get one to commit. When I do, I get excited. Let's see if this is a keeper. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That fish is all oh, 10 and 3 eighths. Good. That's a good one. I was beginning to wonder, once again, if I was going to be able to catch Mama Sue a crappie. And I usually don't have any problem. Now, right behind me, where it drops off, right down through here on the brake line, I've caught several, but they're too small. The only good ones I can catch is right here, right in this area. And that's odd, folks. For, that's real odd. Uh, I can't explain that. This is one of them kind of days I cannot explain. <laughs> oh, let's be honest about it. All I'm doing right here is being stubborn with these fish, but they're always about a foot up, just like that. Okay, let's pitch it right back, just like that. When it reaches about seven or eight feet, I'm gonna pick that rod up just like that. I'm not gonna let them jigs just fall right back to me. Then I'm gonna set the hook. Wow. Now that might be a keeper right here. We might, yeah, it is. Let's put him in the bucket right here. Let's swing him in. That ain't a bad crappie right there. It's not what I call a big one, by no means. But, uh, and I caught him on the outside of the mouth. There you go. That proves it. That's what, <laughs> that's how inactive they are. Right there. Let's see if we need measures. I believe it will. And that's a black crappie. Oh, yeah. Ten and three eighths. So we got a crappie. These ain't big crappie. But they're good eating size. No doubt. Mission accomplished, folks. Let's talk about that just a little bit. I get a lot of questions about catching inactive crappie. Well, I just have demonstrated 
the way to catch them in active crappie on a jig. Um, this was a very bad day to fish for crappie. Um, I used to just load my boat up and go home. Uh, this has been something I've learned with a lot of time on the water. Crappie will bite if you'll fish that way. Hold the jig in front of his face. No action. Uh, very little. You'll go home with a few crappie. I want to saw quickly, I want to make a shout out to Mark and Debbie Shaw from Newark, Ohio. Debbie, she knitted me a, a fish hat. You know, it's a fish head hat, and I appreciate that. That kept my old head, <coughs> head, y'all excuse me, warm today. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. All the great comments. Thank you very much for buying my shirts, my hats, my hoodies. I rarely mention that, but um, it it's uh, it's just a privilege to entertain y'all. Fishing is a sport, second to none, no doubt. Hey, woo we doggone it. And to remember, don't fish him when you can, because it's good for you.